Meet Vera Oberg, a registered nurse with a degree in healthcare administration, a born again Christian who believes in the good of all people, even after losing her life savings to a gift card scam. I don't know why I was not smart enough to think that this is a scam. Vera is smart, but sometimes even the savviest of consumers have no chance against scammers who are exceptionally good at their craft. I picked it up and I said, hello, I said, oh, is this Vera Oberg? On the other end of the phone was a man who claimed he was an FBI agent and he had some troubling news for Vera. Someone had stolen her identity. They're dealing, robbing the banks and doing drugs also with it and they open accounts in my name. The scammer convinced Vera that her financial accounts could be compromised, so she needed to withdraw all of her cash and buy gift cards, then give him the numbers, and she would get the money back when the investigation was over. He scared you to death. Yes. Over four days, Vera went to eight different stores and bought a total of $32,000 in gift cards. She says only two cashiers asked her why she was buying such large amounts. Please wait, system processing. And even when she bought $8,000 worth of cards at one retailer, the cashier said nothing. This got us thinking, what policies do retailers have in place to protect customers from these types of scams? We visited seven local retailers and all had signs warning about scams on their gift card displays, some more obvious than others. But what about employees? Are they trained to identify red flags and spot potential fraud victims? We asked, and most stores told us, Yes. We wanted to see what would happen if we tried to buy $1,000 in gift cards. Would they question us? Don't put us. There we go. We equipped one of our NBC4 producers, Jack, with hidden cameras and sent him to those same seven retailers in Northern Virginia. How are you doing? I would like $1,000. $500 on each one. $200 on each one. At Walmart, Target, Safeway, and CVS, cashiers didn't question him at all. They scanned the gift cards, but when it was time to pay, Jack told them his wallet was in the car and left. I don't have my wallet. I'll have to come back. I'm sorry. But it was a totally different experience at Giant, Walgreens, and Best Buy. The reason, if you don't mind asking, what is it for? Employees at all three stores not only asked why he was buying such large amount of gift cards. Because there's a lot of scam going on on this. I'm just giving you a heads up. So they wanted to make sure he wasn't being pressured. Just do me a favor, sir. If you have received any phone call or an email from anyone asking you for gift card, it's a scam, be careful. It brings tears to my eyes when they're talking to me because I'm so thankful, I guess, that they're taking that care. At the retailers where Jack was not questioned, CVS told us that if he had continued with the transaction, the card reader would have prompted him to answer questions about his gift card purchase. Walmart said their cashier followed the necessary protocols. In this case, this is Walmart card. Is that what you need? Yes. And while Target and Safeway tell us they train their employees to spot potential gift card scams, they don't share details about that training because criminals could use that to their advantage. Gift cards have topped the list of reported fraud payment every year since 2018. The reason, according to the FBI, they're an easy way for scammers to monetize their scheme without having to deal with cash. If they have those gift cards, they can then utilize that same scratched off information to make a purchase online. From that purchase online, they'll then have some other method to uh, monetize whatever merchandise it was. Or they may take the gift card number and sell it online at a slightly lower value. As for Vera, she kept every receipt, every scratched off gift card, and is filing a complaint with the FBI. Even though she knows she'll never see her money again, she hopes sharing her story will prevent someone else from becoming a victim. This represents what to you? It's money gone. Money gone. Now, if you pay a scammer with a gift card, you may be able to get your money back, but you have to act very fast. Here's what you need to do. Contact the company that issued the card immediately. Tell them the card was used in a scam. Ask if the money is still on the card and can they issue a refund. Keep your receipt as proof of how much you spent. Now, be aware that some retailers will not return money even if the card hasn't been used. 
I'm Susan Hogan, News 4.